Hi, this is Shay with Trucks of Sales here today answering some of our frequently asked questions. Uh, the differences between all the heavy duty front tires that are available. So I'm going to just get out my measuring tape here and show you some of the tires and the different sizes and just try to uh, answer a few questions here. So we got three main sizes of heavy duty tires. We got the 425, 65, 225 right here then we got the 385 65 225 and the 315 ADR 225 and I also got 11R 225 and a 295 75R 225 and the 11R 245s right there so we'll go ahead and measure these and just talk a little bit about them and the different uh, purposes here so first off we got the biggest of the tires, the 425, 65, 225. Um, in some states, they have a minimum tread width restriction. So, in order to get 10,000 pounds on your front tire, your width of your tire has to be a certain distance. Um, California, for instance, does not have a minimum tread width restriction, but some states do. So, this is the 425, pretty much the biggest tire that can be put on the front and we got 13 inches here on this one so some of the manufacturers um, say their tires are different sizes but in actuality um, uh, this one is 13 inches so it might vary between manufacturer so here we got a toyo um, this is a, a all direction tire can go in the front or the rear um, and let's go ahead and look at the height of it Got it right there. This is about 43 and a half inches on the 425. So come over here to the 385 65. And there's actually two different sizes of 385. There's a low profile one that's a little shorter, and then there's this one. So we got about 40. One and a half inches. So the 385 is about two inches uh, smaller in diameter. And then let's look at the width here. And we got uh, just about 11 and three quarters on the width. So about an inch and three quarters smaller than the 425. So these 425s, we recommend that if you're going to put these on the front of any truck that it does have the dual steering boxes so it's got a steering box on the driver side and the passenger side you know typically on a factory 20,000 pound axle they're going to have the dual steering boxes um, this tire is about as big as you can get away with with a single steering box because what happens you start trying to put something bigger like this 425 you're going to end up burning out your power steering box and, and be replacing it and uh, that's not uh, inexpensive. Um, these 315s are really what we recommend um, with the single steering box if you're doing an upgraded front suspension and you're not really going to be hauling 20,000 pounds. Um, these 315s um, work great for that and that's what we'd recommend for that. Let's go ahead and check the width on these. Uh, just about 10 and a half and these 315s really vary on the width between manufacturer some some manufacturers might be down to nine inches some it could be all the way as wide as uh, 10 inches but as we can see these yokohamas here which are a pretty good value are at just about 10 and a half and this is normally uh what we're putting on most of the trucks um, because of the value and it's made in japan and uh, these toyos are also uh made in japan as you can see right there so let's take a look at the 315 so this is just about 42 inches so that was a little bit uh, smaller here than the 425 at 43 and a half inches um, all of these tires the 315 is rated to 10,000 pounds. Uh, this particular 385, I think, is rated to about 9,400 pounds. And then this uh, 425 is 10,000 pounds as well. There are 425 size tires that you can get that are rated to 11,000. 
um, but for the most part, most of the manufacturers are gonna have these at 10, and these are typically at, are between 9,400 and 10,000 pounds. And then, all, and then the 315s um, as well can vary per manufacturer what the rating is. Uh, these Yokohamas are 10,000 pounds. But if you're in a state where you're limited on the tread width, then you're gonna have to check that and see how wide your tire needs to be in order to actually carry 10,000 pounds on the tire. Another thing about these 315s is you can put them on dually. Um, so you can actually put 315s on the back of the truck uh, in a dual application. Um, another nice thing about the 315s is they can go on a standard eight and a quarter rim. Even though those rims aren't uh, rated for the same weight, um, but if you're gonna be just carrying you know, 14, 15,000 pounds, and you wanna go bigger than a standard tire, um, 315 is the way to go, and you won't have to buy new rims. Where the 385 and 425 need to be on 12 inch rims. And you can see these ones, there's different offsets for the rims. Uh, these particular ones are set back, uh, looks like about three and a half inches. They also have 425s where the face is almost out at the face of the uh, rim here but those again you need the proper back spacing on your axle um, so that they don't hit as you can see we got this um, Kenworth T800 here this has the same rim on it with that three inch lip and you can see how far the tire is um, outside here so it just comes perfectly with this extra um, rubber fender extension so uh, that's something that you definitely need when you're getting into these rims. Same thing on this 315, if you, you could get an offset rim like this on the 315 and it's going to be sticking outside of your fender a little bit unless you have these rubber guards on there. Um, but one of the, uh, on the 315s, um, sometimes you have to run that offset rim so that the tire is not rubbing on the steering bar um, inside of there. And we could take a look at this tire right here, this 425, you can see how um, if you don't have them inflated properly, you know, if you're not carrying the full weight of the 10,000 pounds, um, you might need to let some air out of the tire so that you don't wear out the middle. On this particular tire, which is common, um, the outside edges get worn before anything else. So it's really important with these biggest size tires that you have your air pressure um, close to what it needs to be or else you're gonna get uneven tread wear and you're going to be having to buy another one of these uh, expensive tires. And it's basically, uh, this is a more expensive tire, the 425 is more expensive than the 385 and the 385 is more expensive than the 315 size tire, um, depending on the brand uh, that you go with. And just for a comparison here, we got an 11R22.5 and these are typically rated around 6,600 pounds. So you can see, you add two of these tires together, that's only 13,000 pounds. So if you wanna put more than 13,000 pounds on your front axle, uh, you're gonna to wanna to step up to the 315s, um, which are either gonna be a nine or a 10,000 pound tire. So compared to the 315 here, at 10 and a half inches, this is about eight and a half inches of tread width. And let's see what we got here on height. 40 and a half inches. So again, the 315 was about 42 inches. So the 11R22.5 is about an inch and a half smaller. So if you're looking to get some extra ground clearance, these 315s will also help you out with that. Just for comparison as well, we got a 295 here. Let's check out the width on that. Uh, right at about eight and a half, same as the 11R22.5. Let's take a look at the height. Uh, just a little over 30, maybe 39 and a quarter. And these are, you know, un, this is just the tires bare sitting here on the ground. When they're on the truck, they're gonna be a little more squished. So and this is about 40 inches and a quarter. So it's about one inch. Um, less than the 11R22.5 and about a little over two inches less than the 315. And then here we have the 11R24.5. So again, eight and a half. So it's kind of standard for all the standard uh, semi-truck tires 
are going to be right around that eight and a half height depending on manufacturer and we got this at 43 inches so the 11r 24.5 is basically the same height as the uh, 425 up here in the front so there's some couple different tire options i uh, hope that answers some of your questions this is shay with trucks of sales please visit our website and give us a call with more questions thank you